the letter says, <coughs> Dear Mr. Stringer, thank you for your letter. I'm aware that you have contacted the media and I regret we felt ne necessary to do so. Well, that was because no one would listen. I am sorry that I've, been un that I've been unable to meet with as many passengers as I would have liked to <coughs> this cruise due to the navigational demands of such a chal challenging itinerary. <laughs> That being said, I do not encourage public gatherings as that, <coughs> as that which you have intimated will take place tomorrow morning and even if my duties allowed, I would not be attending. In, in short, he's, he's saying he's going to ignore us anyway. <coughs> I am, however, prepared to meet you personally on a one-to-one -one basis in an attempt to listen to your concerns and explain a little more, little more about the outbreak and the measures that we have put in place for control. I must, however, repeat that my prime concern is your health, safety and enjoyment. I don't think too many people would agree with that. I will not be attempting to resolve any complaints that you may have, as this will have to be done directly on your return to the UK with our head office. On an individual basis, of course, this outbreak has affected individuals in different ways. Please come to my reception desk with your wife, if you wish, at 10.30 on the 13th of December. Captain Robert Canby, Master. Well... Firstly, I would like to say that I have managed to meet many of you around the ship. <laughs> Unfortunately, as I'm sure you are aware, maintaining our itinerary has been a little more challenging than I would have liked. As a result, I have been spending more time on the bridge. <laughs> I'm speaking to many of you today. This is exactly where you want me to be in command of your safety. <laughs> made the correct decisions regarding the safety of this ship and adjusting the itinerary and I believe that I've kept you informed of these decisions as and when we have made them.